Hello everybody, welcome to Toon Pints of Lager and a packet of crisps with myself, Adam Cleary and Emil! That was nice and timed, well done. Seamless. Do I not have a surname? Uh, do you want one? Underscore Franchi. Underscore Franchi. Not verified this week? Uh, no, I'm either. not paying for that stuff. No, me neither. Crisps aren't crisps this week. Crisps aren't crisps this week, sometimes, sometimes they're not crisps. It's always Toon Pints, but sometimes they're not crisps. We've got Gruntled, like that as a name, Premium Hand Cooked. Pork crackling with Cornish sea salt. Recently available at the Bacchus as well. Yeah, pork. Uh, I like these. Look, I can't My too big for that. Whoa, oh god, that's a pig. Right, that's, that's still too big. That's too big. Oh, look that. at these. Massive, Sorry, massive. hold that up, please. Look at this. Honestly, if that fell out of the sky, like on someone's dash cam, it would kill a dog. <laughs> I'm gonna give a small bite of these. And this I'm happened not, in Russia. I'm not traditionally a pork scratching as well. Mm. I think you've still got half to eat. That's oh. how big that is. No. no, not for me. No? That's in the spirit of Matt Hancock going into oh. the jungle. Could be a pig's cock. It might as well be. She in the size of it, like. Evening, Jason. <laughs> uh, we were here on Sunday watching the Southampton game. What did we say? What was the predictions? Yours was... Oh, God. I mean, we could probably throw to some footage here. Uh, I'm going to say 3-0. 3-0 to Newcastle. 3-1 to Newcastle. Up until the 86th minute, I was a uh, shoe in I was about to find... I was going to get the first ever correct prediction on this. And then I wasn't, you were, and then neither yeah. of us were, all in the yeah. space of about 90 seconds. Bruno's long celebration, <laughs> ever since we brought it up on two pints of lager and a pack of crisps, he hadn't scored since. And then, lo and behold, we got together and um, he scored for us. He did. We should um, probably start at what happened last night, or what didn't happen last night, which was not a game of football. Are we spoiled? I, did, I, got the no, I was no. watching that game and I was like, wow, this is rubbish, this. I hope they bring on our really expensive players and we score loads of goals. Is that not... I don't think so. Have we become a bit spoiled? I think it was a shame for a lot of people who don't get the chance to go to St. James's Park every single week at the minute. And, you know, that was the like game me. I got to go yeah. to and myself. And, yeah, it was a shame not to see the lads be able to implement the strategy in the same way. But that, that's fine because Newcastle are through. We finally got to see Nick Pope have his moment. Is this our year? We're going to win it. We're going to win it. We're going to win uh, it. I don't know. I think it's the, it's got all the makings of a, oh yeah, we're going to go all the way and then something hor horrible happens. All I'm going to say, everything about this season has been they're not meant to have done this yet. They're not meant to be this good yet. They're not meant to be coming from the top four yet. They're not meant to be gelling as well yet. Eddie Howe is not meant to be the best manager in the world yet. They're not meant to win their first trophy in all these years Yet. Although, did you see that they've got on the training ground? They've got up on the on the screen. What is it? Just a reminder. Welcome to work. You've not won a trophy since. It's, what is it? The, the, the dates are wrong as well. I think, isn't it? Yeah, they've not. I think it says not won a domestic trophy in sixty-eight two? years or something. Two. Six, it's six, slightly off. Sixty-nine. Is that yes. a policy everyone should have in their own flat? Like, I should come home and there's like a screen that says you've not had a committed relationship in two and a half years or something. You've not, you've not had a home cooked meal in four days. Just something you like that. You, you don't need a screen. You just walk in the door and there's no one there. Even Jason. No, Jason Jason, <laughs> Jason's never had that Jason's got a different one every night. There was one thing, and you know what, actually, I should definitely do Because when I came in there, what I should have done was this. <laughs> <laughs> now you've got to miss the chair. Now you've got, to, you've got to miss the chair. Oh! I love him. I do. I just want to clarify this. I do love him. He's probably earned the right to take one penalty any yeah. which way he wants. However, that's Bruno, by the way, just in case anyone yeah. was not sure. If I'm if I'm doing some coaching, which let's face it, probably happen when I get bored in my midlife, right? There's about seven different things with that penalty. I tell you not to do. It was all set up as well, like a proper hero moment. You got the crowd up when he came on, and then do you not? Did he? Is that what he <laughs> <laughs> From where I was sat, I was just literally just did it on the pitch. Yeah. He did Lineker. Do you not think that it was just the event that got to him? Because it was it was that lad that's a massive like popular kid in school, and you know he's been said like Bruno, it's your time, and then you've got the lasses, you know, down the side going, Woo, oh, Bruno, 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 and he's going, hey, watch what I can do, and then he does his thing. I personally think it might be part of the big dance routine celebration. He was just building up to it, you know. It was slide to the left. Slide to the right, crisscross, boom, oh god, I've, I've absolutely balls that up. And then he comes crashing back down to earth, none of the lasses fancy him anymore, they've all moved on to Sven Botman, even though he missed it, because he's, he's you know, a big tall lad, you know, and that, that matters when you hit 16. I just want to Sorry, I'm, I'm just really fuming about this. I just want to interject, he actually saw Botman in the lift on my way out, and all he right. is absolutely annoying, he's bigger than you think, Sven Botman. Did he, did he hit his head on the way in? No, he was very politely asking a steward if he could just get him his own lift, which I thought was quite nice. You might have seen, in the unreleased, so far, 
team winning photo. It's only available, I think, on Jamal Lassell's Instagram. Is that correct? It, it's hidden on a, it's hidden on a like a, a, a scroll thing. I found it today, and uh, we posted it on the Trophy of Twitter. You zoom in on Bruno's face. Everyone he else is going. He looked And then good. he's just like, "Hey, not to sound like everyone's dar here, but good." I, I want him feeling the pain of that penalty. I want him knowing he could have had a hero moment and then taking that, not into the World Cup. I want him to forget about everything in the World Cup. I want him to have a nice rest, sit on the bench, don't start a single game. But I want him to, to literally make a puree out of Chelsea, which we'll get to. Or he could have the worst game of his life and punch someone. Wise man once said, or in this case, Joe Willock once, once said. said. It's like a proverb, Chinese proverbs with Joe Willock. Joe Willock cannot get any sayings right. Now... Joe Willock, very spiritual man, child of God, as he's known on Instagram. Actually, is. It's not actually Instagram. Child, child of God, child of God. So, um, Good before we speak about Joe, just. You know, just well, do a J. Do it, do a J. Joe, Joe's is Christ. And <laughs> he, he is basically yeah, not sorry, getting I'm any room right. You might remember, cast your mind back to lockdown football when, what, like 10,000 people were allowed in St. James's Park. Joe yeah. Willock scored the only goal against Sheffield United. He said oh, afterwards... Thank you for for opening me with welcome arms. That was it. Opening me up with welcome arms. He did it at Southampton as well, didn't he? He did it open you up with welcome arms. And then after the Southampton yeah. game... We have to keep our feet on the table. I mean, on the floor, sorry. <laughs> you just can't get them right. I, honestly, I think if you catalogue that with Come On You Maggies, when you genuinely Maggies. just thought we were called the Maggies for some reason... I think let's just go with Joe Willock expression from now on. All the other ones are really tired and boring. Have you got any suggestions? I've got a few suggestions of things that you might want to try. Oh, if, hey, look, if it's not broke, don't throw stones, would be my uh, my advice. Yeah, you can't lead an old horse to water. No, that is the right one, isn't it? <laughs> Hang on. You, can, well, you, can, you can't teach an old horse new tricks. You can lead a gift horse to your mouth, but you can't look at it. Yeah. That's it, isn't it? You know what people say? It's a doggy dog world. It's a doggy dog world? You know what they say? It might be a blessing in disguise. <laughs> I'm going to adopt that and one. And Joe might like that one because it's, you know, it's all godlike and all hey, like that. Hey, it's a jack of all watched pots, that yeah. one. None of which are boiling. <laughs> birds of a feather are worth two in the bush. Evening, Jason. Is that not the right one? No, it's birds <laughs> of a feather fuck together, I think. And birds birds and, and a feather fuck together, did you birds say? Birds in a feather, birds of a feather flock together. Flock together. And a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, which is the weirdest thing I've ever heard. You looking this up? <laughs> this time it's sayings. Ah, that's good. That's good. You know what they say? A zebra can't change its spots. That's it. That's the pure essence of a Willickism. Mm. A zebra can't. Because you could can picture it, couldn't you? And you can see exactly how it's happened. A zebra can't change its spots. I love Joe Willick, man. What a guy. What a guy. Joe Willick of Cup. <laughs> Joe Willick, Emil. Joe Willick. Joe Willick. Joe Willick, Joe Willick, Joe Willick. One of many Englishmen, Joe Emil. Is not going. Not to have made it into. Uh, Brave War Gareth's uh, Brave Boys England squad. Yes. All the best to them. Um, no surprises, aside from Callum Wilson. Boom! Did you, uh, hand on heart, hand on heart. Did you think Wilson was going to go? Where's my heart? Your heart's about, actually, it's not where people think. It's about there. It's about there. Under the nip. Well, where's the lungs then? I really wanted the England team to film themselves like the Brazilians did. But I'll like in really, but in really English circumstances. Oh, so I'm thinking, like, you know, Harry Kane's down his local and, yeah. like, someone throws a pint. Uh, yeah. Callum Wilson's at the, you know, looking after his kids at the nursery. Yeah. Uh, ball gets hit in his face, and on that ball it says, "You've been picked for uh, England." That'd be nice, wouldn't it? And he's like, "Oh, that's great," you know. Kieran Trippier, of course, goes to um, psychopath again, and someone goes, "You're in the England team." <laughs> 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 it's actually Gareth Southgate. <laughs> it, <laughs> sorry, you're in the England team. No, no, Kieran Trippier does that thing where they jump out, and he goes, "Fuck off." And then he punches him and he says, it's me, it's actually, me, it's me, it's me. There's it's actually Gareth. zombies disguised as all the injured fullbacks telling him, you're going to have to play. Oh, you're going to start. But, you got to... No, hang on, I'll do this. <laughs> Problem is, <laughs> while they're all sunning it in guita guitar... <laughs> guitar? Guitar. <laughs> Wing. Evening, Jason. Um, what's going to be happening to poor little Dan Byrne? I'll tell you what Dan Byrne's going to be doing while the World Cup's on a meal. He's going to be so rightly aggrieved at not being in that squad, he's going to be walking into every pub in the North East with a television above eight or nine foot displayed above the bar and heading the off button. <laughs> That's what he's going to be doing. And you know, while, he, while he's doing that, Jamal is going to be five yards behind him going, yep. And I think Matt Target will walk in being the politest man ever and just go, excuse me, have you got the remote? I've got the remote, cheers. Well, I, I think if there's room for Connor Cody in that squad, there was room for Dan Byrne. There's always room for Dan. Well, there's no room for Dan Byrne. There's always yeah. very, very maybe, rarely room for Dan Byrne. Probably couldn't get a plane big enough. You know, maybe he, it's a logistical issue. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, Dan. To, sorry, yeah. We can put you in the cargo hold. 
But you will have to be split across it's two It's a cases. long old flight, like. That's think, a long old flight. Do you think Ryanair would give extra space for a Dan Burnett to go to guitar? Well, with Fraser sitting in the front of the passenger seat, <laughs> the most ironic uh, shipping arrangement that could ever be imagined. Why is he in boat? Ryanair, Ryan Fraser. Oh, sorry, right. God, sorry, Maybe like Fraser from the TV show, Fraser. No, because technically Ryan Fraser could be classed as hand luggage. <laughs> so. Dan Burnett could have gone to the World Cup and taken Ryan Fraser in a bag. Yeah, but there was, he's Scottish, though, so it's... Well, he's not. Ryan Fraser. Yeah. yeah, he plays for Scotland. Yeah, he's not Scottish. What? No, he's, he's one of the, he's one of the like call up lot. He's one of the grandma lot. Ryan Fraser is Scottish. The name Fraser. Well, you're not going to believe this. I was close. He was born in Aberdeen. <laughs> <laughs> On to Chelsea we go. Chelsea now massive prospect. Saturday night, a dee dee da da da. You're going to come to the back us beforehand. You're going to get a little drink in you, and then you're going to go along there. And you were going to watch that match. What was this again? Because it was good. If there's 0.5 goals, plus 0.5, 20 20 pence off drinks. I can't read. If there's 4.5 goals, which there regularly is for Newcastle, pound off drinks. Quit off drinks. Pound off drinks. Quit off drinks from Southampton. Although, is it only when the game's on? It's uh, match days. I don't think it's at all... I don't think there's any hubris whatsoever in me saying we should expect to go into that game of football and win. Like, we are in much better form. We're in much, we've been a much better team this season. We're just in better fettle. What's your prediction for Chelsea? Because what you've done there is, I've asked for how you think we're going to get on and you've done the entire routine of the game. 2-0. I have a feeling that given Chelsea's current form being so bad, this is the type of game where they tighten up against us. I think they'll be pretty hard done by I think Saturday night last game before the World Cup I just I, I think we'll do you think all the players are going to be signing each other's shirts and stuff like that <laughs> the last day of school Eddie Howell yeah but only signing Callum Wilson Nick, like the five of them who are going yeah yeah, yeah. I, mean, I think it's going to be like you know Eddie Howell says right everyone can bring a toy in stuff like that <laughs> Dan Burns got Ryan Fraser under his arm <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah Javier Mankiel's like does anyone want to hey, play Kaplunk I've got a serious question for you oh god can, can I, I get my prediction please yes yeah, sorry 1-1 one, 1-1 one. One, one. Do you know what? Not a bad result. Okay. Not a bad result. But I have got a question for you. Go on. And this is a position we've never been in before. Bruno, Trippier, Pope, Wilson, Cher. Is there any... Cher what? (laughs) And subscribe. Do you think there's any possibility whatsoever that... And we've seen it with some other teams, that there's a little bit of, like, holding back a bit, a little bit of not wanting to get injured, a little bit of just sort of knowing you're supposed to be getting on that plane in in a few days' time? No. No. Because they love Newcastle United. What I will ask is, are they playing each other at all? Are we going to see double Newcastle at any point? Is there scope for that? Not in the groups, but, I mean, they're all in the same tournament. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see Bruno versus Trippier. We're mint. We're massive. I'm going 1-1. And that's fine. A good result. It's a good result. I'll be yeah. happy with the 1-1. Point. But I think it'll be a 2-0 Newcastle United. Like and I said, we're going to win every game. And as we've also said, we've never got one of these right. So expect <laughs> the unexpected. Um, as always, thank you very much to Bacchus for housing us. We've already said the deals that they do. We've been, we've been through that. We've been They're through on screen that. now. Yep. Uh, back us uh, as well by liking this video, oh. uh, sharing this video, subscribing below. Hey, we hit 9,000 subscribers on True Faith um, the other day, so that was nice, wasn't it? I don't know why I'm celebrating. I've been here five minutes, but well done, everyone at True Faith, and oh, you oh. subscribers as well. If you are sharing this on Twitter, no one does, but use the hashtag. <laughs> use the hashtag. This is mint. Use the hashtag this is mint underneath. Um, any more willikisms, please put them in the comments too. I'm getting better at this, aren't I? Is there anything I forgot? That's it. You've genuinely hit every single major tick box for me. I'll do a reverse Bruno to get out of this. <laughs>